early in the morning and I am on my way to a radio interview. It's really early guys. It's funny as the years have gone by since I started Aviator, I don't do mornings as much anymore unless I have a great flight plan, something really exciting because I finally get to spend time with the kids and that's worth way more than a quick flight for me. So. Uh, yeah, I have to take a quick video of these Canadian geese flying over because I'm from Florida and we don't get them. But uh, I'll see you guys on the radio. I think they saw me coming. Dang it. Made it to our next stop. Justin says I have to come here and see this thing. What you got there, buddy? Oh my god! Breakfast of champions. <laughs> It's as big as his head. <laughs> Welcome Always to Pennsylvania. I'm a fat guy when it comes to food. <laughs> yeah, How's that yeah so we fly powered paragliders or paramotors. These are lightweight backpack units that actually allow you to run into the sky just like you dream about as a kid, right? Wow. So Team Paradigm Aerobatic. And uh, joining me, it's Eric. Is it Farewell, Eric? It is, yes, Eric. Farewell. All right, Eric. Paramotors. Now, paramotors is like a backpack fan you put on, you strap it to your back, and you sprint into the sky. <laughs> Just like your dreams, the way you would, you know, as a exactly. child, that's what you think sure. of, right? Yeah, yeah. But what's different about this is it's actually achievable. We're thrilled to be here with you guys. We're gonna have five pilots from as far away as Spain this weekend. Oh, wow. And uh, so you guys are really worldwide. We are indeed. Eric, farewell. This is an excellent opportunity to ask, what's it like to fly in the sky like that? Well, even more than that, what's it like to run into the sky? It is truly a joy. We love sharing this this sport of paramotor flying, being able to sh showcase what is quite possibly the most personal form of flight. So I said, okay. Okay. Oh yes, she's pretty accepting. She actually learns to fly in November for oh, the first wonderful. time. So we, we have three children and she's she's finally getting to learn to fly and she's here with the kids. We're so excited for the heavy equipment the rodeo, for the puppet shows, for the live music, and for all the food vendors this weekend. We are so excited. <laughs> so here we are guys. We are at the very first school of all the schools we have to visit this week. I love that this event actually took advantage of our STEM training. The opportunity to go into the schools and explain how aeronautics work, how paramotoring works, everything else. Uh, it's so much fun for us to be able to share with the kids. ready right now to go to our third school, third tour to four. Uh, we just flew at the high school, had a great time, and we're going back to the uh, fairgrounds, and we're actually going to go and freaking fly to the next school because it's 11 o'clock in the morning, it's overcast, it's bumpy, but it's, uh, it's doable and it's a short flight, so see you guys in the air.
back. That was fun though. A little four minute flight back. into the sky, but we have to learn how to control the glider first. Mr. David's going to show you some glider control. The winds are a little crazy right now, but it's really neat to watch and to see just how much control he has with those toggles in his hands. You guys know who the Wright brothers are? Yeah! Yeah, so you remember the Wright Flyer, the first airplane to ever fly? Yeah! They had something that they called wing warping, where they actually bent the wings, they twisted the wings in order to control the airplane. They didn't use flaps or ailerons like we have on modern planes today. So he'll be using wing warping by bending the trailing edge of the wing and bending the wing in the middle to help control that wing and keep it centered. So that wing comes overhead. He has brake pressure, keep it under control. And he's just steps away from flying. It'd be really easy to get in the air with this type of wing. Thing that August and Arthur have been so excited about. So Arthur is sitting beside me. August is in the seat. He's in the captain seat. He is going for it right now. He's going to drive this little mini excavator. And I'm pretty sure he is beyond freaking pumps. Justin's the man helping him out. August, what you doing, buddy? Over there. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. Yes. <laughs> You're doing it, August. so close. Yeah. What do you think, August? Good. You picked up the first ball on your own. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice work. Arthur, are you excited? Yeah. yeah? 
Are you gonna pick up the ball on the first try too? <laughs> Whoa! So you got the ball! Oh, nice. Yeah! You're the man! You nailed it! What'd you think, Arthur? Arthur! Yeah. How was it? Was that pretty fun? What do you say to Justin? <laughs> you were close! You knocked over the whole thing! Close! What'd you think? Do you want to drive heavy equipment for a living? Yeah. <laughs> You're smashing it. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> day of the air show in Lycoming County. My hair is crazy. I got Johnson coming up behind me somewhere. Here he is. And I'm just doing the normal thing, you know? Just cruising. Oh, I'm gonna hit the stop sign. Flint's doing the same. Can't corner very well. I don't know, should we go a couple more blocks? Amazing event at Lycoming. We had so much fun, and I'm gonna let August and Nell tell you a little bit about what we just saw driving through the Susquehanna River Basin. Uh, we actually saw this on the way up, but we, we didn't. The kids saw it, and they're like, oh my gosh, there's a statue. It's the Statue of Liberty. I'm like, guys, that's in New York. It's, that's not here. But uh, believe it or not, there is a Statue of Liberty. So he, he, let me let August tell you the story. Can you tell us how the uh, Statue of Liberty came to be in the Susquehanna River? The kid made one out of plywood and bedroom blinds and no one knew who it was and then they built one out of steel? Um, I think it's steel and rock. That's pretty cool. It's on a rock. I wish, I wish we got the video, but... Exit to the right onto I-81 South Cardio. I have a video. Alright, so that's the story. Go check it out. So last night at long last, we made it to Ridgeland, South Carolina, where we are at the home of Skyfield Lightworks, run by our own 
Andrew Solano and Kristen. AJ is down here right now helping them, or up here right now, helping them teach a class. And so we're gonna go visit them, say howdy ho, and then get back on the road. I slept in, I think Ed and them got up and went flying, but uh, after I moved the RV, I slept in. I'm exhausted. I'll show you guys around. Tree down. 